Happy dinner time, everybody. The South Dakota Golf Association offers a wide variety of tournaments and programs for players of all ages and skill levels. I had a chance to chat with the SDGA's Executive Director, Tom Jansa, about the organization's mission and purpose. Another season has wrapped up for the South Dakota Golf Association and Executive Director Tom Jansa sees many passionate golfers across the state. The highest percentage of golfers per capita are in uh, Minnesota, North Dakota and South Dakota. Uh, I think it's just uh, you know something about our, our short season here. We like to get out and, 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 and recreate in the, in, the, in the short time that we have and, and golf is just a, a great way to do that. Part of the allure of golf is the pursuit of the perfect shot, and it keeps many golfers coming back to the course. You will ever be able to dunk the ball like Michael Jordan or do, you know, uh, catch a pass or throw a touchdown or whatever, but you can hit a perfect golf shot or make a perfect putt, and I think that's part of the appeal is that it's elusive. Maybe it doesn't happen all the time, but you certainly is a game where you can, uh, you can do as best as the best players in the world at any point in time. Jansa enjoys seeing young people playing golf, and the SDGA offers programs that help get kids excited about the sport. The earlier the better is what I always say, and, and uh, the, one of the other things that we do uh, uh, to foster uh, that kind of growth is we run uh, First Tee South Dakota. It's a, it's, a, it's a youth development program, and it starts with uh, you know, kids four, five, or six years old, getting a, you know, kind of a goofy club in their hand and, and getting them to have fun in the game. The South Dakota Golf Association offers a wide variety of tournaments and championships for golfers of all ages and skill levels. Yeah, obviously, you know, we're, we're here to crown the, the best of the best, but all of our events are flighted. You know, we, you can play against players of your ability and your age group. And, and so it's a it's a really fun experience. Uh, you know, the, the courses really go all out and, and have their have the extra special conditioning for that round. So you, you feel really special when you play. Let's jump on in for another edition of Big O! fish and this evening Jack Meyer is our featured angler. Jack recently reeled in this 22 inch walleye out of Roscoe Lake. Congratulations to you Jack and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be featured on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the submit photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is and where it was caught. Get those pictures in and we will get you on Big old fish that was a nice looking walleye right there phil and of course the area anglers continuing to impress reeling in some nice big old fish yeah you can say that again you got an update on the state tennis tournament state tennis tournament double a girls state tennis tournament got underway today in sioux falls of course earlier this week we had class a stm at rapid city christian finished second and third there but today double a teams on the court sioux falls lincoln leads right now with 281 points stevens is second with two 276. So it's going to be a battle for that state title. The Raiders looking to win their third consecutive state championship, and that will wrap up tomorrow. Also in boys soccer, we have Class A playoff games and the Belfouche boys soccer team with a big win today on the road, knocking off Freeman Academy 1-0. So the Bronx move on to the semifinals. Congrats to them. Yeah, with all this going on, you're still getting ready tomorrow for a very busy Friday night hike. A lot of big high school football games in the area tomorrow night. We'll have all your scores and highlights tomorrow night at 10 on the Friday Night Hike. Look forward to it. Thanks, Vic.